Hello, this is Mark Rollins, and uh, I'm going to discuss something that kind of bothers me, but considering all the problems in the world, it's pretty small. So now I've written a book known as The Labyrinth House that was published in uh, 2014, uh, last year. And uh, let's see, it was by Luthendo Kerr, and it's out right now if you want to read it. The issue is it bears a strong resemblance to a book that has been out for a while now, a bestseller known as The Maze Runner, and it's been out since 2009. And as I said, the, the books really sound, look alike. Now, I'm not going to say that I, or I'm not going to say that I'm upset with James Dashner, the author of The Maze Runner. I don't think there's any case of plagiarism going on here, at least to my knowledge. This isn't like uh, DreamWorks' Ants and Disney's A Bug's Life, where I think one was trying to outdo the other. I think there was something going on there. However, these movies went down, I don't really know all the details. But this is a simple case of two authors having similar concepts and releasing their works at different times, one not knowing what the other was doing. I mean, hey, this probably happens all the time. And considering it's a world of infinite ideas, the fact that two come along that are similar is just, well, a coincidence. And I believe that there are some coincidences, coincidences in life, and this is one of them. Now, uh, considering that uh, The Maze Runner did was published first, I perhaps should be a little worried. But I'm not, you see? I first conceived The Labyrinth House in 2003. At the time, I conceived it as a pilot of a TV series, and I sent it to an agent, but I was never able to get a green light on it because, well, <laughs> that's pretty hard to do. So basically, I have the poor man's copyright of this, where I put my, sent a manuscript to myself, and, and well, you can see it. If, well, if ever a court case comes up, I have it there. If, uh, I'm not really certain how that works, if, like, they get lawyers in a room and they, like, check it out and they have the manuscript there and they open it up officially, who knows? The important thing is, I have proof that I wrote The Labyrinth House, uh, over ten years ago. So, um, the issue is, my book looks like a Johnny Come Lately. And, uh, there's some similarities and there's some differences, and I'm going to discuss three of the similarities here. Uh, number one, in both books, the main character w wakes up in a giant maze. Yes, in Dashner's work, the main character of Thomas, he isn't really given a backstory at first. He just kind of wakes up as a partial amnesiac, and, and that's the case of everyone who's in this giant maze. Now, in my work, the main character is Bradley, who finds himself in a maze, uh, but he is fully aware of where he came from and um, all of his past. And all the people that he meets, they are not amnesiacs. They know where they came from. In fact, some of them have been there for several years, even centuries. Yeah, no time passes in my maze. So that's something different. Okay, number two, the main character meets a huge threat in the maze. Now, of course, if you're going to have this set up, you got to have some conflict. And Dashner's work, the main character meets these uh, things known as grievers that are essentially will kill you if you wander too far into this maze. Uh, in my book, uh, there is a section of the maze that's locked off with a lock and key. And if you wander too far in it, uh, well, you probably wouldn't be wandering too far uh, because you'd be deliberately there. There's a character named Robert who has an agenda to kill you. Yes, that is a little bit different. We have the human and not the robot foe or whatever the grievers were. So, hey. Now, this one is a bit of a spoiler, but... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up because, hey, you probably could see this coming if you read the book. Now, in The Maze Runner, the main character realizes that the maze is, in fact, a pattern. And the shifting walls uh, spell out letters. And in my book, uh, the walls don't really move, but they do spell out letters. And um, I'm not going to say what the message is in either of them. But needless to say, when I was reading Dashner's book and I saw it got to that part, I said, Oh, please. But, hey... I didn't think he was copying me, so I just thought, oh gosh, but it certainly looks like I'm copying him. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, again, there are similarities, incredibly different, and uh, would be like comparing the aforementioned Ants and a Bug's Life. Uh, but these films, if you watch them, they're very different in their tone and um, what they come about. Uh, Bug's Life is about the uh, teamwork and the uh, wonders of the possibilities of it. 
Uh, and so I visit about the uh, downfall of uh, teamwork, the fact that you can think like a, a group mind, and it, it more praises the individual. Anyway, uh, but honestly, see both films and read both of my book and Dashner's work and decide which, decide for yourself which is the best of the two. Or not. Maybe you like both of them. You don't have to have say that one is better than the other. Shoot. So, yeah. Now, uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I am writing a sequel to The Labyrinth House known as The Labyrinth City. It's probably going to be uh, published in 2016. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make the holiday deadline this time. So, um, it, now I'm working on the last draft of it, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of liking it. However, I've decided not to read any more of Dashner's works um, because I don't really want to look like I'm plagiarizing him, even unconsciously just taking some of his ideas. I just don't want to do that. So, and here's the deal. I currently have a plan for a third of the Labyrinth um, series, I guess we'll call it that. And uh, I don't want any influence that... I want this to be an original idea, and I believe what Dashner did was an original idea. Um, so, and I believe I've got one too. Anyway, if you've read my book or you've read uh, both of the books or you've read Dashner's book and, and you want to leave a comment, feel free. Uh, we'll put this on YouTube and we'll start the conversation going. Anyway, I'm Mark Rollins and you guys have a good day.